How y'all doing? All right, this is my first video since um, coming back from Mount Whitney the second time. I just got to say, wow, I can't believe how many views and positive comments I got on that last video. It's a little weird because someone, you know, got hurt in that video. And, you know, I'm not, I have mixed feelings on it, but I'm glad that a lot of people are saying they got something out of the video and that it was a good thing that I posted it. So I'm happy about that. So just to recap on Mount Whitney, yes, I went the first time. I want to say I got snowed out, but really I was really low on energy. When I took that long rest in the bivy sack, um, you know, by the time Matt came back, it was daylight, and I felt pretty recharged. But I don't think I... I think we did the right thing turning around, even if the snow hadn't come. Uh, we went again two weeks later, and I was doing pretty good. I got to hike at my own pace, which helped a lot. Uh, we didn't have any time to acclimatize at all. We just drove up to the parking lot and started hiking within a half an hour of, of us arriving to Mount Whitney. As you see in the last video, things didn't go as planned. Totally glad me and Matt were there to help these people. It was uh, it's a really good feeling, you know. It was it took me a little while to kind of wrap my head around what happened. It was a trip, and, uh, you know, like I said in the video, it's kind of emotional to think about it, even now. Uh, all the great comments, man, that just meant a lot to me, you guys. And, uh, you know, I, like I said, I tried to do that video as respectfully as I could. And so far, everybody's telling me I did a fine job with that. So it makes me feel good. And like I said, I'm not making any money off of this stuff. I'm just doing it. So I think it's important if people are learning from it. So I'm happy about that. Dang it, my battery's getting low already. I brought my camera on this hike. I mean, my phone. I didn't expect to make a video, but I thought I'd do a brief update. So... Right now, I'm hiking up Coyote Peak, just a quick thousand footer. Probably a four mile or so round trip. My next climb of significance is going to be Mount Diablo, which is here in the Bay Area. It's about a 3,600 elevation gain, and it's pretty damn steep. So yeah, I'm going up uh, Mount Diablo on Halloween. I'm gonna be in costume. If anybody wants to go, I plan on getting there around Eight in the morning. Oh, I forget which route I'm going up. Um, I'll just say that I know the route heads south from the trailhead, goes up the mountain, and then comes back down. It's a loop. So, maybe I'll put it in the description below. Just in case someone wants to hike with me up there, that'd be cool. I won't give away what my costume's going to be, but let me just repeat the name of the mountain. Mount... Yeah, nice and steep. Just the way we like it. Does he see me? I wonder if that guy sees me. Yeah, I do. I see you, buddy. Cattle grazing. Keep the gate closed. There we go. Last steep little run up to the top, which is right there. I could walk straight up there if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Hi, hey. Goes my hat. There we go. Bird's eye view of the Bay Area. I think I'm going to take a different way down, but on the front side, it's actually the steepest way. So my final thoughts on Mount Whitney now. Well, that's about it for 2023. But next year we're going to go again. My brother Matt goes every year, so it's a special deal. And uh, now that i failed at it, I really want to get up there. <laughs> So we'll go when the weather's a little warmer, earlier in the season, probably in the summer. So I will be back to Mount Whitney, no doubt about that. In the meantime, I'll find some new challenges. Mount Diablo in a few days is going to be difficult. It's very steep. 
compared to a lot of the trails I hike, and it's pretty long. I think it's a 12-mile round trip, 3,600 feet or so. And like I said, it's steep, man. There's <laughs> some steep, really steep spots. So it'll be a challenge. It'll be fun. I'm going to wear my costume and uh, do it on Halloween. And then seven days after that is my birthday. I will be 56 years old. One more important thing I want to say. It's important to me. My mom's starting to hike. She did a four and a half miler the other day. Kind of on... Uh, not difficult, but four and a half miles, man. Last time I took a walk with her, it was a mile and a half. Her and my sister went, so... I want to put a little pressure on her and say, Go, Mom. Keep hiking. Keep it up. It's worth it. I will give updates on my mom's hiking progress. So, pressure's on, Mom. Keep it up. People are watching now. <laughs> So stay tuned. I'm glad all you guys subscribed recently, and um, thanks for uh, hanging out with me. It's only going to get better. <laughs> now, this is fun, man. All right, have a good one, you guys. Get out there and hike. I want to see you on the trail.